The Revival of Cities event has already been live for about a week now in Infinity Kingdom and a ton has happened. Okay, so today I want to catch you guys up with sort of everything that's happened with the development of my account, right? Because this is sort of like a reset project for me as well as a new event to take and capture these cities. But I also want to talk about the alliance with Wick Gaming, the sort of joint alliance that we've built, which has grown into like three or four full alliances at this point, which is insane. And of course, we're going to talk a little bit about war as well. So really, like I said before, this is sort of like a reset project. Okay. This is my third account in Infinity Kingdom, and I've, I've sort of learned the ropes of the beginning of a server at this point. It's a little different, right? Because we're focusing on the actual point of the event, which is to destroy cities the walls capture them and then construct them as well and by the way if you guys haven't joined the revival of cities event yet it is not too late you can use the link in the description to download infinity kingdom and there's also going to be a link as well for more information about the revival of cities event it's a 60 day event that is happening in infinity kingdom to welcome the new players from japan infinity kingdom just came to japan and by the looks of it the japanese players seem to really be enjoying infinity kingdom there's a ton of new players from this new region that are in the game which is really awesome to see make sure you check out my previous video that i'll tell you all about the event there but if you do decide you want to play with us then just make sure you have a character in server 136 it's called the revival of cities okay so the first thing i want to go over is sort of the immortals and the troop compositions that i've been working on so far since we're only about a week into the event i am still primarily using water although i am right on the cusp of switching to earth as you can see here the power is very similar and that's with almost no i think no skills on these guys and not the best equipment so i could very easily make that switch i just want to get maybe one or two more skills on this team with a little bit extra invested in the dragon but right now we could take a look i have maxed out brynhild i've maxed out helen of troy and i have ulji at five stars i think he's kind of close to yeah he's sort of close to six and then we also have merlin at four i feel like I haven't gotten almost any Merlin from the uh, the merchant resets, which has been a real bummer for me. Uh, I really wanted to push him as fast as I could in the early game, but you know, he, it is what it is. I think I purchased all the bundles for him so far. So I, I got him up as much as I could. Uh, you can see here that both my Brynhild and my Merlin have the uh elite equipment now there are a couple of different places that you can get this very early in the game before you have to actually defeat the higher level gnomes that would drop this i don't remember if this came from an event or if it was from like a bundle that i purchased but you could actually pick which one you wanted i went and picked the set that goes on merlin and then there was a second set of chests uh, i think it was one set of chests that gave just the defense equipment if i'm not mistaken so that's how i was able to get uh this good equipment on those guys which was nice and then we have all blue for everything else i do have to level this up a little bit on my ulji brynhild is rocking the physical defense we've got ulji rocking the physical attack we have helen of troy rocking the uh, magical defense and also magical attack and on merlin we have the single skill meteor just to deal a little bit of extra magical damage as well uh, i didn't know if i should put meteor on helen and move the magical attack over to merlin i was kind of going back and forth between that ultimately i don't know if it matters too much but if you guys know uh what's maybe a little bit better you can comment that in the comment section below realistically i'm probably not going to be focusing too much more on water past this point because i will be switching to earth but if you guys are in my alliance or if you're you know if you're new to um infinity kingdom then what you can do if you want to build a water march uh, if you don't have merlin in the back row then unfortunately you're going to be working on uh helen of troy with yoshitsune which is for me four stars he's just not good enough yet to replace helen at this point unfortunately um i would love to have him in the back row of course for that physical damage but um you would be working with helen and yoshi in the back row and then you would have brynhild and ulji and eventually you would replace uh one of those two with harold who is free I have not gotten Harold yet. I've done a bunch of different uh, immortal summons. I don't know what the deal is. I just did not summon him. I have 42 of him right now. Uh, so we're getting there, but I feel like by the time I unlock him, I'm not really going to be using water too much. So if you're free to play, then it's going to be Yoshi, Helen, uh, probably uh, Brynhild and Harold. Um, obviously, Olji does, I think, a little bit more damage but Brynhild is a little bit more tanky. So it's up to you sort of which you prefer. Like I said, I'm going to be focusing mostly on earth moving forward. And then eventually I'll probably do lightning and uh, fire. 
um those are probably going to be the three marches that i focus on for this event but earth is definitely going to be the next one starting in the next few days realistically um because we've already got alex and uh charles to three stars i've purchased pretty much all of the bundles so far for these guys um Zenobia I have all I think I'm missing one of the VIP bundles uh for her which gives it's the hundred dollar one uh but otherwise she's in a really good spot right now I just put another skill on her uh strictly from I think the market honestly which was really nice and then I also have med B in the back row because med B if you guys don't know shadow deals uh it has it as an attribute advantage on all types except for holy so having her in here is going to be really good against pretty much everything uh she's relatively easy to get max star level because she's an, an elite so you know she's a little bit more common than some of the epics um also I'm really just using her until I get Cleopatra which I haven't summoned yet either which is sort of shocking to me I feel like on all my other accounts Cleo and Harold were like the easiest of the of the epics to get but apparently in the server I've just been unlucky but really med B is not bad in the back row anyway just she deals nice magical damage and you need magical uh well we really just need damage in general for the earth team because really I think Alex is dealing pretty much most of the damage if I'm not mistaken from the earth team other than that you just have Charles being tanky and Zenobia healing so yeah the extra damage is very welcome from med B which is nice I'd like to get both of these guys to like four stars before I start to use this uh earth or at least at least Charles to four stars but we'll we'll have to see I don't know but yeah realistically if you're gonna focus on earth you do need to get uh Charles and Alex and those two require making purchases in the game so if you guys are planning on going earth just keep Keep that in mind you will pretty much need these two if you don't have them you have Leonidas and Leonidas just isn't really great he, he's just he's just not great he's not on the same level as these guys here also Charles can be used in late game as sort of a front row for like shadow for example I mean he's really just super tanky like he's just he absorbs a ton of damage which is really really nice so even if I decide to ditch earth later down the line Charles is going to be really nice regardless so he's a solid investment and you know of course you can always just reborn the immortals and get all the stuff back that you invested in them if you want to and then you'll be good to go as you can see here I pretty much locked everybody that is either fire lightning or earth in the case of Cleopatra I also locked Gilgamesh because he's just a nice universal back row so yeah that's pretty much what we're looking at right now as far as the Alliance goes as I mentioned before this is called infinity warriors this is the Alliance that I sort of co-created with wick gaming uh, we've also expanded to infinity warriors 2 infinity warriors bn which is run by boss nasty I don't know if you guys are familiar with him he also has a great uh you know YouTube channel uh, about all about pretty much Infinity Kingdom and Rise of Kingdom so go ahead and check him out he's got tons of useful information I think we also have an Infinity Warriors 3 and then we also are sort of allied with a lot of the red faction at this point we're obviously allied with uh the Worthy Knights which is uh the Worthy Prince another YouTuber concert content creator in this event and Clash Bashing who is the uh fourth content creator that is involved here and I believe that they have merged at this point uh, I think they've sort of merged both their alliances into one similar to how Wick and I are doing our thing I think their alliance is a little bit smaller uh partially because I think they waited a little bit longer to do this merger and I think one of the advantages that we had with Infinity Warriors is we hit the ground running we had three alliances set up pretty much on day one and we were just all online recruiting people and just getting everybody into the alliance and right now at the time of recording this if we take a look at at our alliance ranking uh by power which i know isn't everything uh, but we are number seven so we are the fourth strongest in the uh red faction which is really nice uh these top two guys really just exploded in power right away which is good uh we've been in talks with them um trying to sort of be allies at this point uh we did attempt to be allies with green as far as arknight go as well as uh I think Val I don't know where they went they just completely fell off the map which oh my god yeah 28 sheesh we tried to we tried to be friendly with those guys however like two or three days later they took some of our cities from us which right now uh we don't have cities at this point we did have uh we had three cities IW2 had one city uh so we had four cities total and they were taken during that siege 
um and we are planning a retaliation i'm not going to mention it in this video but hey at the end of the day a lot of these guys are just here to play in the revival of cities event they don't really care about the server right like it is what it is uh so you know if that's if that's the attitude that everyone here is taking then fine it is what it is and uh we'll just we'll faction up with everybody in red and honestly we've got some extremely powerful allies so everything is good on that front but yeah it's been super fun playing with all these guys here in infinity warriors the level of activity and excitement that has been surrounding this event at least in our alliance has been super cool i've really loved logging in seeing everyone who's online everyone who's playing it's been really awesome uh, i just want to give a huge shout out to all of the officers here in uh in infinity warriors kitty lord truck Kun, king kitty neo lord ramen shout out to you guys man everybody here has been so active i really love to see it obviously what gaming is is basically r6 he and i just sort of take shifts uh, and it's actually been really nice having you know somebody else that can take the lead when i'm sleeping uh wick gaming obviously isn't in the same time zone as me so that's been a really useful thing to have where if i'm sleeping i know somebody else is online right which is which is always really good that's one of the problems that we had with the uh, server 97 contention of legends event was that it sort of all fell on me and i didn't really have any officers that i could rely on after you know a week or two into the event and from there things just didn't go very well so having a well-led alliance right now has been really Really great so huge shout out to all of you guys as well as everybody else in the alliance who's been just super super active and super passionate about uh about this event you know it's it's been a real blast uh having you know having these guys in the alliance and working alongside some of these guys which is just which has been really really cool so huge shout out to all you guys in infinity warriors uh not just here but also in iw uh two and you know boss nasty shout out to him and, and all that stuff so the alliance is going really great if you guys want to join again link down below and join server 136 as far as the map goes right now this is sort of an update um some of these cities we planned on taking so coco Beale, we i think started here we started off in this corner with iw2 right beneath us and we kind of were like in that little pact uh and then we ended up taking hesperus and we took it uh by force which is maybe one of the reasons that green wasn't happy with us um but realistically we took it from the uh don taco family i don't know if they still uh have a city over here yeah don taco's family uh they started attacking iw2 so we were like okay we'll we'll just take your city then and i think that's kind of at that point that's where the dominoes started to fall but regardless with the event being so new uh a lot of these cities are gonna flip hands often if you guys have played infinity kingdom before you know that's the case with these early cities uh it, they're so easy to defeat the, the the wall durability and to capture those garrisons that all it really takes is for you know one alliance to go offline and somebody can come in and take four or five of your cities all at once so at this point you know we're just planning on taking some of these cities back it's no big deal uh red has a ton of presence on the bottom of the map and uh it is what it is that's that's kind of what we're looking at at this point very early on in the event some of these cities are still level two even which is like actually crazy for those of you who are in my alliance or maybe those of you who are new to infinity kingdom i want to give you guys a couple of tips when it comes to taking cities for one good alliances typically will plan out city attacks in advance whether it's you know an hour or two before as a last minute thing or maybe it's a day or two before if they really know that that's like when everyone's going to be online regardless you want to save your ap for these city attacks because it takes a ton of ap to attack a city it like it takes way more than you think what i mean by ap is is this stuff here you want to save your small ap recovery your medium ap recovery and your major ap recovery or you at least just want to save it all up here uh, i actually didn't even realize mine was full so we're gonna have to kill some gnomes but anyway uh, you want to save this because you know th there could be an enemy hive that's nearby so for example we are allied with cjp um but you know had we wanted to take the city from them we would have to teleport in and then probably start to take out some of these players in case they log in right because once we start taking their city um they're gonna start retaliating so it's better to attack them first make them teleport and that costs ap and then you still need ap to attack the city walls and the garrisons as well so again make sure you're saving up a ton of ap for when these city attacks happen if you're deciding uh, you know if you should use your ap for attacking player cities or use it on the actual city i would say save it for the actual city and let the bigger uh spenders in your alliance 
attack the other players because when attacking an actual city and doing a city siege uh it's timed right you have 15 minutes to take that city from start to finish and if you don't you fail right so it's it's more important to have more players attacking the city than attacking enemies nearby if that makes sense so save your ip for the actual city siege anything extra you can use to attack other players another thing to mention is that this outer wall it has a durability and when you start the city siege you have to, to lower that durability obviously and one thing you're going to know is that when you're attacking the walls you're going to see it says defeat right you're, you're losing because you didn't deal that uh that finishing blow to that outer wall that's okay if you see defeat that doesn't mean you should stop attacking that's fine you're dealing damage to the wall you're contributing to reducing that durability which is good afterwards there are inner garrisons and these inner garrisons do not work the same way if you are fighting in a garrison and you see defeat you probably shouldn't keep attacking it because at that point you are actually just losing troops to the enemy garrison whether it's because it's too strong for you or they could be actually garrisoned by enemy players right if enemy players have a ton of units in that garrison it's going to be much harder to take it down so keep that in mind the last thing that i want you guys to understand is that the inner garrisons have to all be captured by the same alliance for that city siege to be successful so it's not that all the garrisons have to be defeated it's that they have to all be defeated by the same alliance at the same time so for example if iw which is our alliance and iw2 all teleport in to attack a city uh, and one of the inner garrisons gets taken by iw and another one gets taken by iw2 uh, even if all the garrisons are are fallen uh, it's not going to be over because one alliance has to take all of them so obviously you know this only matters if you're attacking with multiple alliances but keep that in mind and if you have extra ap at the end of the city siege go ahead and send your army to a zero troop garrison just so that way you can hit it and hopefully be the last one to hit it and take it obviously you're going to win because there's no troops in it uh, but just just to make sure that you have all of your uh all your garrisons owned by the same alliance so obviously you know with the revival of cities event it's focused on capturing cities right that's what the whole event is about so you already know that there's going to be war and there's going to be drama and even though we're only a couple of days in there's already been a ton of it there's been a ton of war uh, and especially in like world chat and stuff there's been a lot of drama a lot of people talking and, and you know even with like people speaking different languages it's always really interesting to jump in there and just see what everyone's getting up to and people you know talking and then all of a sudden they get surrounded and teleported on and, and it's just been a crazy thing our alliance alone has fought multiple other alliances uh, at one point we uh, attacked the viking alliance uh, of the green faction and, and like i said before we did have to steal that city from the don tacos family and there's even been wars that happened while i was sleeping right i know wick probably has footage of him uh, taking down some of the blue faction with a couple of the other members of the alliance that happened when i was sleeping and it was like four or five in the morning or something like that and I didn't even know what was going on I woke up and he was like oh my god we took him down I'm like okay like I missed all the action down at that point but hey it is what it is and that's the benefit of having different time zones and leadership again you know with all the fighting that's been going down uh we've tried to be diplomatic realistically like we actually have uh and at this point I think we are pretty cool with uh at least all the red faction um I don't at this point I don't think there's really much hope for a lot of the the green faction but at this you know we're trying right we tried to be diplomatic we tried to you know that's what's best for the server that's what i that's what's most important right i've mentioned to people that you know if we're going to be successful heading into kvk it's best if all the factions are somewhat reasonable with one another uh but here we are all already a week in and it doesn't really feel like that is the case uh which is sort of frustrating right because obviously there's a lot of the people in this server uh, probably a lot of them it's the first time playing infinity kingdom uh and so you know being somebody who's played the game for a long time now I think it's been like a year at this point uh, almost a year maybe um you know being someone who's played for that long it's really frustrating to to see but you know again at the end of the day it's it's an event about taking cities so I should have I should have just expected people were going to be dramatic and violent anyway so far the event has been super fun it's been more organized than uh previous events for Infinity Kingdom which I really really love um the the developers have been really active and, and really responsive for the event so I love to see that again guys it's not too late to join uh we are just getting started here in this server so if you do want to join create a new account in server 136 uh Revival of Cities and join an IW 
AEW Alliance. Guys, that's about it. I will be posting more updates on the Revival of Cities event moving forward as the game continues to develop. And I already know there's going to be a ton more wars because we have them planned. So make sure if you guys are new around here that you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload an Infinity Kingdom video. Drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps it out and gets it out into the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below anything that you are curious about with either the Revival of Cities event or if there's anything you want to know about Infinity Kingdom specifically. If you're a new player, if you're maybe in one of my alliances or something like that, I can always answer your questions down below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.